Let us talk about storing these giant flowers. What I love about these freestanding flowers is how simple they are to store. I keep the flowers in large plastic boxes, usually fitting 5 to 6 flowers per container, to avoid squishing them too much. Though I bet you can put more than 5 or 6, you can probably put 8 flowers per container. I'm just being careful at this point just because, you know, I just made them and I don't want to test the limits of the flowers. But the good thing with organza flowers or fabric flowers is that is that you can easily fluff them out. And that's what I love with the organza versus paper. With paper, it's kind of hard to smooth in the you know the the petals out if ever they are crumpled and with paper it's really harder to put them back on its shape unlike with fabric again you can i bet you can put more flowers here i particularly like the green containers from walmart which are also available on amazon as they match my brand colors if you want to learn how to create your own bases or stands, then click this link or the card in the upper portion of this bit video. If you want to learn how to create your own giant organza roses, then click this link. Additionally, I don't attach the leaves to the stalks. Instead, I tie them around the stem before storing them. Then I Then I remove the stalks from the stems. That's it! Super easy. It's much simpler than storing flower walls. By the way, I plan to implement a new process for my paper flower walls. That will make setup even easier, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for that. Bye!